The uh, alternative to violence is dialogue, which is a kind of encounter interface with other people and situations. Um, but yes, we, we live in a world in which we have so much power. Uh, in the old days, you could fire a, pull a trigger on a revolver and hurt people. <clears throat> but today, when you trigger these vast media that we use, you are manipulating entire populations. And uh, the kinds of violence that we can now exert collectively are such as to require the situation to cool, to write down, cool, cool, cool. And I, we have, you know, by means of the overkill, we have created a kind of universal peace in the world. The, the means of destruction are so vast it, it, uh, at our command that we, it, war becomes unthinkable. So, in the same way, people be, are cooled off by media and by situations which require dialogue rather than just self-expression. Violence is a kind of self-expression. And uh, so that um, the uh, quest for identity, uh, the uh, person who is struggling to find out who am I, uh, by all sorts of maladjustments, all sorts of quarrels, all sorts of encounters, such a person is a, a social nuisance, of course. But uh, quest, the quest for identity goes along with this bumping into other people in order to get to find out who, who am I, how much power can I exert, how much identity do, can I discover that I possess by simply banging into other people. And uh, so that's what I had in mind when I said that the quest for identity is always a violent quest. It's a series of adventures and encounters that create all sorts of disturbance. I suppose, I don't think you have to go very far in literature, for examples, of it, I suppose, Don Quixote uh, is a, a great popular hero, and Flash Gordon, and uh, Superman. But we're now beginning to get a, I'm thinking now of this new show, the Star War, that is uh, the new uh, Hollywood thing, that is based on Flash Gordon comics. Um, the bionic man, bionic woman, these are vicarious forms of violence in which young people are trying to discover, who am I? I once asked to my granddaughter, or, uh, one of our granddaughters, who was then six, what do you want to be when you grow up? And she said instantly, bionic woman. Um, this is a kind of violence that permits uh, one to discover who you are. Um, I was using violence in a rather large sense of simply encounter, abrasive encounters. Any kind of sport is a dramatization of the typical and accepted forms of violence in the business community. And so you can learn an enormous amount about the business community by studying the rules and procedures in cricket or baseball or golf, as far as that goes. The, these are, all these games are huge uh, ways of discovering, dramatizing what the society you are in is all about. By the way, without an audience, uh, these games would have no meaning at all. They have to be played in front of a public in order to acquire their meaning. A baseball game without an audience would be a rehearsal only, a practice. The game requires a public, and the public has to resemble a whole cross-section of the community. I'm very interested in games as dramatizings of violent behavior under control.